I would now like to call Mr. Ojeh Singh forward to talk about our mentoring scheme. Um, first of all, I would like to thank um, the seminar, brilliant seminar organizing committee for giving, uh, giving me this platform to announce Pasar Puchalguti's new scheme, PPG UK Mentoring Scheme 2016. So welcome. Um, when you go to the shop and you're um, given or provided millions of options to choose, you would think, oh, can I have a second opinion from somebody? When you get into the restaurant and you're given a rest, you're presented with a menu with hundreds of um, food and you're not able to make, the, um, make up your mind to choose your food, you would need somebody um, to help you decide what you would like to choose and you would ask for a waiter's recommendation. Similarly, in life, you will be presented with lots of opportunities and you wouldn't know which one is the correct one to choose. You will have highs and you will feel low. And you will need somebody to help you calm your emotions. You will have ideas and you will need somebody to bounce your ideas off, to make them mature and write them correctly. And not just that, you will need that one encouraging word, some motivation, some inspiration, and one last final push to get to that finish line and you would need your mentor. This is what we're talking about today. I have been able to put some um, quotes together here. First of all, obviously, if you light a lamp for someone, it will also brighten your path. If you help somebody, you're helping yourself. This is a very old Buddhist proverb. Um, Oprah Winfrey says, um, a mem mentor is someone who allows you to see, see the hope inside yourself. Um, it will allow you, uh, when you're feeling down, um, the mentor will show you, you can get further and, and go get it, like um, Dr. Shrestha, where is he? You can do it, what he said. Bo Sanchez says, getting a mentor is shortcut to success, because life is too short to learn by your own mistakes. So mentor gives you this opportunity, a window, to get through, a uh, pass through all the mistakes that he has made or he has experienced. Mentoring is a brain to pick, an ear to listen, and a push in the right direction. And it is so true. Sometimes you want to be heard. You want to pick somebody else's brain, and you want a push, and mentor gives you that. And finally, this is my favorite. Our chief want in life is somebody who will make sure you do what you can. You know, we've all got potentials, but we don't know whether we can do it. But mentor actually helps you do what you actually can. Nothing more no less. With this, in our mind, we have hope of a mentoring scheme with Pasar Puchalguti UK. So what is mentoring? Mentoring is a process in which an ex experienced person or a competent person helps another person achieve what he can within a specific time with a confidential one-to-one -one conversation by talking. And mentoring can be a formal or informal ones. Informal ones are unstructured, whereas formal ones are structured, um, mainly smart, goals-oriented. Specific, measurable, achieve, achieve, achievable, 
um, realistic and time bound. So mentoring is all about focusing and taking time out, helping people get their responsibility done, negotiating and actually setting the goals, see options and experiment options, make higher quality decisions and actually achieve what you want with a quality help. Mentoring has got benefits for both mentors and mentees. It's not just for one. As I said earlier, if you help somebody, you're helping yourself too. So mentees are helping mentors and mentors are helping mentees. So the structure of this actual um, mentor and mentee scheme will be um, always that the mentee will be on top. He, will, he or she will be supported by mentor all the time. And not just that. You will also have a mentoring champion who is actually conducting the scheme, in this case myself, and then the organizing committee, Pasapucha uh, Guti UK, will be there to support, achieve the goal that they want to achieve within that specific time. And this will be done in four different phases. First of all, obviously the mentors might know their mentees or not, but um, first we'll be building the relationship and then negotiating or actually setting the goals, what they want to achieve within that specific time. And then the longest time will be to develop the mentee to achieve that specific goal within that time. And at the end, we will end the relationship. The ending the relationship means the formal part of the relationship will be ended. However, it does not necessarily mean that you have to end the um, personal relationship that you have already found with your mentor or mentee. It not, it's not necessary that all the mentor-mentee partnership can work. It can not work as in any relationship. So you're all, always free to break off this relationship whenever you want. So this is the snapshot of the picture, <coughs> how it will be running. Um, we will have Pasa Puchoguti UK and I have put in Pasa Puchoguti UK's um, seminar organizing committee um, as, the, um, as the support group as well because it has actually given us this um, platform to present this to you. And we, it will be myself, and then there will be pairing made. The length of the relationship will be of one year only, and then there will be two mandatory meetings that you have to, um, you have to attend. The first one will be the kickoff meeting, which will happen in July, because we will take this one month time to take the nominations as much as we can. I'm also having a poster presentation today outside in the lunch, so please talk to me about how to apply and enroll into this um, relationship or into this um, scheme. And there will be another mandatory meeting just before seminar next year, um, which will be a break-off meeting in which Pasa will formally end the relationship and take off all the responsibility, and we will evaluate, and then finally we will celebrate. And then there are other, uh, mem uh, other meetings that will happen with mentors and mentees only and it is entirely up to mentors and mentees to decide how many times how frequently they want to meet what they want to talk and um, how often and which means and media they want to use to have a conversation they could use um, phone calls face-to-face -face meetings and um, email skype whatever they think is convenient for themselves there is no specific expectations from anybody it is entirely within the scope of mentor and mentee what they decide within their first meeting um, and set up the goals um, there are cases when people have achieved much higher goal than they expected and there are cases when they haven't achieved anything at all. Um, there is no good or right answer to it. We just want to build this relationship going forward for everybody. We have had few nominations already for this um, mentor mentee scheme for this year. We have Anil Maharjan as a mentee and we have got Arjun Pradhan as his mentor. Similarly, we have got Raj Shahi as the mentee and Ojesh Singh, myself, as a mentor. We've got Nilesh Singh as a mentee and we've got Sangeet Srasta as a mentor. We have also have nomination for mentor for Madhusudan Kayasta. So um, we would like more pairings to be done. Um, I will be outside. I've got forms and everything ready in the lunchtime. Please see me at the lunchtime and, uh, and help us join us to make this bigger. Um, to conclude, I'll see, I would like to say, in learning you will teach, and in teaching you will learn. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Ojas Singh. Uh, we all eagerly await the launch of the mentoring scheme. That brings our session one to an end. We will now have a lunch break and uh, commence session two. 
at quarter past one. Thank you very much.